Wat die Heere vir jou gedoen? Vanuit 23 was, het ek aan my paar anxiety gehad, en hy het my genees. Amen. Oh, um, When yeah. I remember what the Lord has done, I'll oh, leave it turn back in the old. You weet, ek dink in hy poot, he was a he brought me out of the mighty clay. And he put my feet Dit is het die wonder dat die koning wat ons gehoor het, ons land het, die brug, ons van die volgende koning, die leie my hoor op die berg hier, in gemeenskap met die dag. Dat ek my hoor op die dag in gemeenskap met die dag.
wanneer mens getoets word en beproef word op hierdie pad. Kijk nu op. Nou, koning Jezus. Hij is daar om ons die richting aan te wijs. Elke ochtend dat hij daar. En hij hem op die pad in. Hij brengt ons terug. En ons kan getuigen van zijn liefde, van zijn genoegen. Voel ik het op koning Jezus te worden. Wanneer je kracht te minder had. Doe naar Johan met kracht te horen, prijs en liefde. Nou, oh, niet meer All things are possible. If you are niet meer
And six days after he said this, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John. Now, they were the sons of thunder, okay? James and John, they were quite feisty. <clears throat> six days after this, Jesus took with him Peter, Simon Peter, James and John, the sons of thunder, and he led them up on a high mountain apart by themselves. He had no leaky for sin. And the lucht seen ek die bron hier. Ek praat van die lucht van die Heere toe dit neergedaal het hier so. Six days after this, Jesus took with him Peter, James and John and led them up on a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured. Christ was transfigured. Jesus was getransformeerd. Right before them and he became resplendent with divine brightness. And his garments became glistening, intensely white, as no fuller cloth dresser, launderer on earth could bleach the fabric. And Elijah appeared there to them, accompanied by the great man Moses. And they were holding a conversation with Jesus. And Peter took up the conversation, he butted in saying, Master, it is good and suitable and beautiful for us to be here. Let us make three booths. Let us make three tents. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. For he did not know what to say. He was confused. For the disciples, Peter, James, and John, were in a violent fright. And a cloud threw a shadow over them. And a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my son. The Sakina Yerlikheid van the Yer God, but op the Daxel, the Persoon Daxel van the Ark Gerissi, to Yer Jesus and Elia and Moses op the Berg was, he so, op the Hoer Berg in the Eensamheid, had the Sakina Yerlikheid van God afgekom. En is dus een wolk, diezelfde wolk, wat voor die volk van Israel, die die woestijn uit gegaan het, had die wolk van die Yer, die mense bedek. And a cloud threw a shadow upon them. And a voice came out of this cloud saying, This is my son. This was God speaking. The most beloved one. Be constantly, make sure you constantly listen and obey him. Sherilyn uh, touched briefly on that. On the back of the krachtige hand van the earth. Submit yourself to God. Const God was saying about his son, constantly listen to him. And obey him. And looking around, they suddenly saw them no longer. Elijah and Moses disappeared. They only saw Jesus. And as they were coming back down the mountain, the express ordered them not to tell what they saw until the Son of Man were about to rise from the dead. So they carefully and faithfully kept the matter to themselves. And he said, bewaar questioning and disputing with one another about what rising from among the dead now should mean. Hulle toch nie eers verstaan dat die Heere gaan sterwe vir ons sonde sê. And when they came down the mountain, verse 14, this is where today's message starts. I just wanted to give you a bit of background. And when they came down to the disciples, when it says they came down to the disciples, there's 12 disciples. Yes, Peter, John and James was up in the mountain. It means the other nine was down at the foot of the mountain. And now you see Jesus and the three disciples coming down, descending from the mountain. And they see in front of them the other nine and a multitude of people. And when they came down to the, the other nine disciples, they saw a great crowd, a great crowd around them. And scribes, schriftgeleerders, busy questioning and disputing, arguing with the other nine disciples. And immediately all the crowd, when they saw Jesus returning from the holy mount, his face and person was still glittering. They were greatly amazed and ran up to him and greeted Christ the Lord.
They were up in the mountain alone. It looked like they subtracted them from society. Christ and the disciples, three of them were busy. And they saw what most of us will never see in our lives. They saw something. Elijah was the one that was taken up in a whirlwind with chariot of fire. Elijah never saw death. Moses did die before he reached the promised land, as you remember. And the Bible says that God himself took the body of Moses and he buried him. Why? And he went from the NSF here, that was a word to this land, this is God. So Engel in Satan with the Lichaam van Moses. So God took the body of Moses and he hid it in a place Satan would never find it. He wasn't about to let Satan do what he wanted to with Moses' body. So two of the great, great icons of the Bible, Moses and Elijah, appeared. It gives me a sense of eternity. It gives us a sense that when we lay down our heads on this earth, there is nothing to fear. If God could bring Moses on the mountain alive, it gives me hope. I can never tell you with an iets verval. But think as you your head on this earth and lay that you have to lay in a kiss and not know what is going on. Abraham had died. And the word of the Lord said, he said in the scripture, he said, Abraham was, to Abraham was, to correct him, and he said to him, I said to him, Abraham is. And he said, so he said to him, the son of the Christ. I said to him, he is a son of me in the paradise. We are not a God of the living, not a God of the dead. Because you don't know what the Lord of the Lord is in your house. The Spirit of God that lives inside of us is indestructible and will live till eternity. Amen. Do you realize sometimes what is in this church? What power of God is the Holy Spirit? It is part of the Trinity. It is everlasting power. It is so strong that the Antichrist cannot reveal himself at this very moment because the Bible says until we are taken away, bride of Christ, you just don't have what it takes to be exposed. So what happened on the mountain was extraordinary. Christ, Elijah and Moses had a gathering. And I would have loved to know what they talked about. The Bible doesn't tell us. But when they came down from the special meeting, now the only thing I can think of, now Moses resembles the Old Testament. Is that right? Yes, Christ, the New Testament. And Elijah, what does he do there? But does not the Bible say, refers, when they asked Jesus about John the Baptist, then he said, Aksefia, that is Eliyahu at Sukkot. Do you remember that? He spoke about John the Baptist. At this very stage, they asked Jesus right in this text about John the Baptist. And he said, well, they did to him what they wanted to, with other words, at this stage, John the Baptist already was decapitated. His head was put on a tray. Was that Johannes Christ? He do it. So up on the mountain, it was the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the water baptism, if you ask me. The Bekir. They had a gathering. So you cannot throw the Old Testament away. You cannot throw the New Testament away. You cannot throw Elijah away. Because Christ said, he is John the Baptist, what is Elijah that would come? And they came down the mountain, empowered by this wonderful encounter. And the very first thing they encountered was an argument. Ach, mense, net wanneer jy jou draai, net wanneer jy op die berg is met die Heer, in gemeenskap met die dag, geestelike gemeenskap, Net as jy op die hoogtepunt in jou leven is, oppas hoor, jy gaan nou net by die berg afloop, wat gaan nie weer na argument en loop, is dit maar so? Maar hy is die Heere sy naam. Die woord van die Heere sê ook, dit is goed dat daar streven en onder jylle is. Hoekom? So dat die beproefdes na vore kan kom. Hy pers jy soos wein, soos in die olijfpers. Selfs die Seen van God, moes gehoorzaamheid leer uit dit wat hy geleid. They came into this argument, And nine disciples were quarreling 
oor die scribes, nege pastoor, sien het so, was bezig om te strijd met die die skrifgeleer. En weet jylle waar oor het hulle gestrijd? While the grown-ups were fighting, quarreling, whether things are right or wrong, whether you read the scripture right, or which translation you understand, while nine disciples had all their days against these scribes, these scriptures, there was a little boy, the Bible says a child, on the floor, that could not speak, and he was deaf as well. And his daddy brought him there to see Jesus. But when he came, Jesus was not there. And the Bible says, as this child moved, if they walked past water, the demon that was in this child threw that child into the water. He could not yell out, Daddy, help me, because he can't speak. He could not hear his hands trying to save himself when he was drowning, because the Bible said what was in this child continuously tried to drown this kid. And this father, for many years, from his birth, struggled and had to go through hell and back and had a genuine need. He took his child to Jesus to be healed, but when he came to the site they said the master was, he was not there. But the scribes were there, the church was there, but instead of helping this, this boy, this child, nine pastors, and I don't know how many scribes or Pharisees started arguing. Was it about the law? I know one thing. I don't know what they argued about, but I know one thing is they missed the purpose of church because there was a need in their midst and they overlooked the child. The Bible says often when the child walked past a fire, the demon that was in this child would throw him into the fire. But he could not say, Daddy, there's blisters on my hands because it hurts me. He couldn't cry. The tears flowed, but there was no sound utterly crying out. Can you imagine how that must feel? A year ago, Easter, I was on my way to Busselton. The previous night I had a dream of children crying. And I might have mentioned it to three of you. Many people asked me, was it me that you saw crying? I said, I'm not sure. I just saw, saw children crying. And the Lord spoke to me. And He gave me a lifetime commitment. A lifetime obligated ministry. And I'm you say what is this? So that the Lord my opdracht gee om die seer uit jou kinders te gaan uithaal van jou kinders te haal. Want sien in jou gat vanmorgen, hier waar jy sit, is jy een kind van God. You see, your voice might have been taken away when you were young. Your innocence might have been taken away. The Holy Spirit talked to me this morning about this child trapped, being mute and dumb, he could not hear, wasn't able to speak, relay the message 
and say, don't hurt me. Why was the child in the circumstances it was? Can we blame God for allowing the devil to enter that child? <coughs> was it because of him or his spirit? <coughs> There's so many questions we could ask. But I get clear as the dienstleg van the Heere. The word van the Heere gesê, oppas dat jou gedagtes nie opkom voor die troon van God nie. Het staan in die woord van die Heere. I know one thing. Is that the master knows when the fruit is ripe. Is that true? He knows best. Hy weet wanneer jou lewe ruip is. Hy weet wanneer jou kan pluk. Hy weet as jy moer of moer moer dalk gaan vrot word, gaan hy jou dalk vandag plik. Mag ek staan so, ek gaan nou terug tegen die moedskap. Ek staan op ons YouTube kanaal, is Louis en Sari Fourie, baie, baie teer vriend van my, van die familie, my pa, die bel aan huis gebleid, en my pa, een vakweer in huis, en Louis kom baie, baie mooi sing, en ek staan, so paar jaar terug, by die conferentie daar op die verhoog, Maar daai aand was anders. En ek staan en kyk, staan en kyk hoe sing Louis. Maar weet jy, hy sing so uit. Hy sê, Yes Lord, we will ride with you. We will stand up and fight. We will ride with the armies of heaven, dressed in white. En ek staan om so en kyk, en ek dink, hoe is dit nou, dat my broer voor my, die heer het my gewys, hy is kou uit. Ek het gesien, hoe syng hy homself in die jimmele. Weet julle nooit gelees, wat sê die woord van die Heer, hoe die profete sê, is van die Elisa ongeloop het. En het vir Elisa gesê, het hy geweer, dat die Heer sê, vandag gaan die Lea van jou al weggeneem. Dan sê Elisa, verblijf stil, ek weet. Nou kom hier een van die ander vijftig, en hy sê, did you know that the Lord's gonna take Elijah, Elijah away from you today? He said, yes, I know. Het hy, het hy, het hy dag, het hy die waar, verder van Piro, kom al net. Ek het gesien, my vriend, was hy, weet jylle, my nou maand of twee, jy nou reen met sy voet, jong man, weg, maar ek weet vandag, dat die daagse bruiloft van die land, he went to see, yes Lord, we were right, and he can do it. My heart was so, but I know God knows best, because goodbye here, is just hello on the other side. Mm. 100 years here is but a drop in the bucket of what we're going to have. The fact that you have got eternity in your life, do you know that you are indestructible? Can I get for you here, sir? Jij is onvergankelijk. Want die Heere sê vir Satan, en jy raak nie op Jobse lewe aan, jy sal my eerst vraag, want selfs die haar van jou hoog is getel, maar hy is ook die God. Hy sê, moet nie die vrees wat jou lichaam sal doodmaak nie, maar vrees liever, die God die Vader, wat jou lichaam en jou siel in die hel kan verderwe. Het beteken jou siel het eeuwigheids waar. It's destructible. It's just a destination that might differ. Heaven or hell. But the fact that you will live forever is certain. So set your mind on heavenly things and trust God. He knows when the fruit is ripe, He will pick it. Because He knows tomorrow it might be rotten. He can see in the future. And He can blend, do, excuse me, storm and do. And the Father brought him to Christ and to the disciples. And he said, can you please heal my child? And they prayed for him, but nothing happened. All nine of them. While they were arguing with the Pharisees and the scribes. Hulle het vir hom gebed, die hande opgeleg. Maar dit wat in die kind was, was te sterk vir hulle. Do you know that Daniel prayed for his people? When Daniel was in Babylon, he prayed for his people back home. 
You know the story. And God sent Gabriel. Daniel was fasting. And God sent Gabriel. And he said, go and tell Daniel I heard his prayer request. It's done. I've seen his countenance. How he knelt before me three times a day. Hoe het hy sy knie gebuig voor die levende God. Ek wil die hele dag nog vermoorden. Dat ons ons knie kan buig voor die levende God. Want hy wat bid sal ontvang. Prijs die Heere sy naam. Gebed verander saak. Gebed verskuif werk. Daniel het gebed. Maar terwyl Gabriel op pad na hom toe is. And he met the prince of Persia, Saba. And for 21 days, the Bible said, they confronted each other. Wow. That's strong. 21 days opposing Gabriel that stands on the right hand side of the head of God. 21 days. And he couldn't overpower him. So God sent Michael, the archangel, Hier die kind is vastgevang. En iets wat die kind kon losmaak, was nie daar. Nege pastoor, ek noem ons om pastoor. Self toe veel hy skrif geleer. Hulle bid vir die kind, maar daar gebeur niks. En hy al stand, cause why what worked yesterday does not work today. You will see me pray behind here in the mornings from 10 past 9. It's because the effort we put in yesterday does not work today anymore. The fight is fierce. The souls that needs to come to Christ are bound. We need to intervene if that's our calling. Gaan dan hier en maak disciples van alle naast. Dit is die opdracht van die kerk. Gaan en maak disciples van alle nasies. En doop hulle in die naam van die Vader, die Seer en die Heilige Geest. En leer hulle om alles te onderhou. Prijs die Heilige Geest. People are bell. Children are crying. In their hearts. Die word nooit uit die hoor. Ek het al baie gehoor. En mommy sê altijd vir my my kind, ek voel nog soos een jong daan net in die speelpeek, en sê van, maar hier binnen, is het nog die selfde, is omdat jou siel, nie jou oorlusie het, jou siel het eeuwigheidswaar, God het die jou oorlusie van eeuwigheid afgehaal, en ek weet nie van jou nie, but I'm going to that city, oh, where the streets are made of God, I don't know what music instrument I'm going to play there, die wat is going to be a nice one, I will eat of the tree of life. Are you going with me? The Bible says that city has got 12 gates. Elke poort is uit een solide taal. And the stones of the foundation of the city, the apostle's name is written on it. Under the altar is all the tears the children of God cry through the years. God catches every single one of them. Die woord van die Heere sê, ek denk is in Agha, dat jylle gesprekke word opgeskrywe in die boekrolle voor God gehou. God sê, when I hear my children speak something nice, I will tell the scribe, and he skrywe it, and he skrywe it, and he scribes it, and he rolls it up, and every now and then when he wants to read it, he gets it out and he reads it. That's why the Bible says in, 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 in Armageddon, what will come forth, the word of Christ will be our testimony. What my children say. Dit wat nog nie is in jou hart opgekom het nie, het God bereid vir jou. Hy sê, ek gaan hier om vir jou een plek voor te bak. But you know what? If you want your name to be written somewhere, the workers, their names are written on the foundation of that city. People that have got empathy with a child that's bound. Not like the church mm. that's just arguing about, is this right, the grown up. Look about the souls. Hierdie boodskap gaan oor, hulle het 
oorgekyk oor die behoefte wat daar was. Daar was een pa. Hy het gehuil. Die Bijbel sê hy het gehuil. En hy roep uit. Because his child cannot call out. He was calling out to Jesus. He said, Master, I brought my child here, but these nine disciples can't heal him. He was the voice of his child. It's about time he become the voice of the lost world. It's about time you start calling because some people can't. They don't know how. They don't feel like it. They've been silenced. And he said, Master, when I walk past water, what is in my child tries to drown him. And he can't call me. And he says, when he walks past fire, he burns himself and he is trying to commit suicide what is in my child. Why is it in my child? I want to thank God Jesus was there that day. And he distanced himself from the quarrel and the argument of the nine pastors and, and the Pharisees and the scribes. The only pound say kind for him stop. To die kind, Jesus said, said the word of the Lord, to manifest that day. And I can. The word of the Lord said, I can draw. He didn't come to and die, he can't do it. It's warm, but that, and I need the Lord is now. For God, I'm not going to be able to do it. the devil runs. The Christ moves in, the devil shall run. What are you preaching today, Paul? Surely this is. This is this is a thing of the past. Surely there's not children with demons inside them today. I beg to differ. They just got fancy names today. And many times it comes from the parents. And he worked for the other say, Axel had a besoek. But my heart had to put it down in the field. But I thank God for our son. But generatie kan ontra. Staan gaan net op jou voete. Prijs die Heer. Dit staan te hoor as 'n teken vir God. Jy wil jou generasie van hierdie dag gaan verseer. Is dit waar? We cannot change what what happened in the past, but we can go from here for bye bye dan. Ja, ek kan mense dan. En ek sê Dit is kostelik te lees in die week. En dan ja, dit is nog wel waar. Dit is nog wel baie waar. <laughs> McDonald's can mess your order up 101 times and you still keep going back. When I go to Hungry Jacks, I have to keep myself calm because I'm going through the drive-thru. It's a drive-thru, okay? You know, get at the first window, all right, and, and I pay. And at the second window, I'm supposed to get my order. Uh -uh. <laughs> hey, sir, can you please drive around the corner? Metallic three, and what a guy's keep my little bit. Chit twing! Stand up for what's right, this is a drive through. If I wanted to wait, I would have walked in the front door. And you're going to make me wait longer. I said, no, it's a drive Okay, so I get off my handicap. I'm an alibi. Good. And I say, my body, body. say, body, my pa. Remember your pastor. I'm going to go on. Oh, keep calm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard when things are wrong. We know we need to make them right. You will be funny. You see, the affair of the from the hope of the so McDonald's can mess up your order 101 times and you still will keep going back. Ah, oh, but one thing goes wrong at church and there's a little quarrel between the grown-ups and you want to quit. <laughs> People just aren't hungry enough. And as you hunger, hey. as you hunger, hey. ah, I come here and here, I come here and here and here and here and Al toe my opa's was dienstnechte van die hele pastoor. My ma en my pa was pastorie kinders. 
Ek is met die vrou getrouw, sy is een pastorie kind, my skoonpaas ek een pastoor. I've seen it all, I've heard it all. But one thing I realize, ain't no, 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 buddy. Gotta take my eyes off Jesus, because he's coming down the mountain for me. He's my voice when I can't speak. He's my ears when I can't hear. Just cling to Jesus and you'll be fine. Take your eyes off people. Those nine pastors who argue that this poor child was neglected. They left him on the ground. He was rolling from side to side. And Satan was manifesting in that child. Why did Christ let that child roll? And the Bible says in the English, in the King James, that right there in front of Christ, Satan tried to kill that child. But Christ just watched him. Why do you not intervene? I can't say who called him. But I let Satan, I can do it for my God. So Jesus will let me do it. I'm going to do it. That's the way. But next, I'll feel your God. Ek wil die Heere dank dat die onvergankelijke God om ons mee is. Ek wil die Heere dank voor moe, dat daar geen probleem, geen wiese, geen tekortkomend uit vermoe, onmoedelijk vir die Heere sal wees. Amen. Because when we pray, maar die Heere sê die gebed van die wie draaf jy ook, van die rechtver, nie van die hoogmoedig nie, nie van een trotse persoon, maar die gebed van een rechtverdig. Daar veel kan. Rechts weer. O, het is lekker om die saam ook van die Heer te gaan. Het is die geest, het die mens, en nog in sy midde, wat ons in sy midde kan wees met die Heer. Die Heer en ons om die rol so, wat nie speel vir ons, is die brief. Die rol so, toe kom al die mense na die gaat toe van hy nie ver. Toe die Heer al die mense sien, toe wacht hy net tot al die mense kom. Like an arena. Prepared. Maybe that child was that sick until that very day just for the glory of God. The Bible says, there was a blind man lying in the time of Christ. Was it a lay man? Maar, laat maar, sorry, ek nie, ek tuim al my bybels toe is. Die laat maar, en Petrus, en ek is Petrus en Johannes, het opgestap naar die tempel toe, na die Heere Jezus opgevaar, maar het al die jaar, terwijl die Heere en Jezus en hy was dan daar geleid, hoe kom die Heere om nie gezond gemaakt nie? There's a time, and an hour. I'll tell you one thing, when he picked up his bed, everyone knew of that. En toe hy kind nog so rol, Toe bestraf die Heere die duivel. En hy sê, ga uit om uit! Hy sê, kom nooit weer terug aan ook. En die het ons gesê die woord van die Heere. As die onreine gees aan die mens uitgegaan het. Wat is onreine gees? Ah! Pornografie. Wel is. Te veel drank. Daar is een vloek op drank. Daar is altijd een vloek op drank wees. Want het het te veel die wil ek verkoes. Te veel kinders het gehaai oor die misbruik van dan. Die woord van die Heere sê, word nie dronk van wij nie, maar word die wist dronk van my gees. John the Baptist never touched the Christ. Learn from the Bible. Don't object. Just learn. My kind rol so. En die Heere sê, ga uit om uit, kom nooit weer terug nie. Maar die onreine gees kom baie maal terug. Die woord van die Heere sê, as die onreine gees uit jou uitgegaan het, dan gaan hy weer waterloose plek en hy vind nie rust nie. Dan neem hy sê wat ander gees is sterker as hy self. And he will try to come back in your life. He will tell you, Google this, Google that. Why don't you just have a look at that again? Yeah. The devil is a lot of things, but he's never lazy. Yes. Die Heere bestraf die duivel, en hy is uit die kind uit. Maar die Heere sê, toe let hy sienkie daar, soos een dooi. Everyone thought he was dead. 
Maybe he was. Quiet. It's John. But he took him by the hand. No sound. Silence. Because when the devil went out and screamed, and he had to marry on. And to have walked out. To pray. To Jesus pray. To worry. That's a devil. And I think, and I can. I think it would have been hard to stop his testimony. You see, everything you went through in life was to God's purpose. But now that he can speak and he can hear, he could say, God healed me. And he could walk past the fireball and past the water and not fall in and not burn anymore. I could hear a dog from one that they buy your liver for buy a As I see it, as I stick it, the hard behoof to from all in your liver is. As I feel you, your right was up on the table, so I can. I took my voice away. I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear your voice calling to me. I led astray. I was walking the wrong path in my life for so many years. And the Lord is talking to you now this morning. He says, come my child. I am here. Don't look around at all the pastors and all the Pharisees. Just look at me. Just look at Jesus. I want you to to look at Jesus this morning. Can you please repeat after me? Say, Lord, I'm looking to your old rugged cross. That is my strength. I know you bought me with your blood. Please forgive me my iniquities. Please forgive me my unbelief. If you have to hear my come to the two men here praat toe hy het geskryf. And Jesus asked this man, asked the child's father, how long has he had this for? And he said from the time he was a little boy and as often he has thrown him both into the fire and both into the water, intending to kill him. But if you can do something, Jesus, do have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said, If you can, all things are possible to him who believe. And Jesus said, and this man replied, all things are possible to him who believes. Only believe. This comes out of the Bible. We sang it, but it's a scripture. All things are possible. Alle dinge is moendig vir hom wat geloof. And once the father of the boy gave, sorry, there's a lot of, it's an expositor's Bible. There's so many scriptures in between. And once the father of the boy gave and cried out with tears and he said, Lord, I do believe, this is a very, very famous quote. The father cried out and said, Lord, I do believe, but help you, my unbelief. Can you deny that? I glue you that I help my unbelief. So repeat after me again. Please help my faith, Lord. Help my unbelief. And to I so oprecht as I say, ach, I will glue you. Maar ek het gekom, en het is my kind gebid, en ek sê het gebeur, nou is ek onvrijmoedig, nou geloof ek nie. Hy sê, ek wil geloof, maar ek sik van. Toen die Heere ook, sy oprechte, toe draai die Heer om, en hy maak die kind gesloof. Thank God for ministering to our lives today. May the Lord empower you with His message. He's with you this morning. Wipe your tears away, because tears will never stay in the streets of that city. The child that is inside of you 
Jy sal altijd een kind voor God blij. Maar as een liekie wat sê, you will always be a child in my eyes. Dit is ook om hy sê, my kinders, ek gaan hier my kinders om vir jylle blij voor te blij. Want jy is Godse kind. Praise die Heer is in naam. Staan saam met my is die Heer.